Alright, everybody now. We need y'all to stand tall. Everybody now. Come on. All around the world. Sing it. M-U-S. And I. Dear viewers, my name is Kailath Awam and I will be taking you today on a tour of Al-Islam, which is an Islamic supplementary school based in Channel View Lunch Centre, Grangetown, Cardiff. And I teach the youngest class there and I will be taking you on a tour of, the, of our school and showing you some of the things, the, the activities the kids get involved in, the lessons that they learn. These are the youngest class, my class, these are the girls from my class and they're going to name you some of the things we learned. So what did we learn girls? Really loudly, tell me. Wuzu? Go on. Hmm? These are the boys of my class and they're going to tell you what they learned. I'll help them, okay? Come on. Come on. What did you learn? What did I teach you? What else? The yeah. What well, you've just seen now are the five to six year olds. They're the youngest class. Oh, mashallah, they've learnt so much in such a short space of time. Because I was helping them. Yeah, yeah. I know you were. I mean. And now I'm gonna sh now I'm gonna go over to the six to seven year olds. Sunna's class. Sunna's class. At the moment, they've been learning about the five pillars. This class. You can see the pages. Got Shahada, Salah, Zakat, So we're going to move on to the next class, which are a bit older. They're about eight to nine. This is the eight plus class, and at the moment, they're doing a test. As you can see, they're hard at work because their teacher, she usually. Give them tasks to improve their learning. This is the 9 to 10 year class. This is the one class above Pfizer. Pfizer's class, which is the ones you just saw now. They're doing a tap moment as well. Answering questions. They'll be learning about the Sira, Prophet Muhammad Salam. So. And these are our cupboards, which we have our books and pens and arts and crafts equipment. So far, I've been showing you the first hour and a half of our um, four hours. Yeah, about three, about four, four hours um, of, the, of the time spent from 10 till 1 um, studying in Alisla. Uh, the first one and a half hours, they have lessons in the next one. Next Half, they'll be having break and they begin to get involved in various activities such as playing in the park or up doing arts and crafts with one of the teachers here, Papa's. So I'll be showing you some of the things they do next. Just before they break up, the kids are learning their du'as. At the moment, they're doing surah nas. First four classes of Al-Islam, so for the older girls. All come and do the du'as just before they break up. For play and activities. Now that the kids have finished their lessons, they're officially playing in the park, which is right next to the Channel Village Centre, where they've had their lessons. As you can see they're having fun and their supervisors sitting there on the bench making sure that nothing goes wrong.
this will be part two of my video, which is about the charity bazaar, which I'll be holding today, with the help of the senior girls of Al Islam. Um, we will be raising money for Islamic relief for the orphans who have been um, devastated in Pakistan by the floods. And I pray to Allah that inshallah it will be a successful day. I mean. Start off by having our volunteers collecting an entrance fee at this desk right here. You can see there's a face painting store. Bizarre. Further along, that's the Islamic Relief store. The Henna store, which has not only been on there. See our famous Alyssa poster. There are clothes, our clothes stores. There are clothes and jewelry. Most of these sits are five pounds and jewelry vary in price. Most of these are our old wedding clothes, which we just volunteered with for the charity event. There is the raffle store. There quite a few gifts there, but I haven't bought anyone anything yet. There are shoes. Quite a few shoes actually. And some scarves, anything. Yeah, the yummy yummy cake stalls. With a load of cakes and baked. The cake leaving iced by the volunteers. Cupcakes have been iced, I mean. <laughs> and we also got an Nintendo Wii for him. Give people a pound a girl and should enjoy it, hopefully. Not many people here yet, but see. Good shop. Chocolate fountain. And we've got books. That's very good, boys. We're selling books and a couple of toys. This is a Mr. Jar. They're uh, online. Online here to um, sell hijab and hijab accessories. These are also Al Huda who are shopping in Greenstown. They sell Islamic stuff. Let's see, they also brought along some sweets, rays, some Yusuf CD. My charity event that you just so witnessed along with donations so the amount of money that I raised is a thousand and three pounds ninety pence and mashallah this money is going to go to the orphans in Pakistan hopefully this money will be used to help the orphans and those who are less well off and Jazakallah all for watching my video and hope you all enjoyed it Asalaamu Alaikum Right, everybody now. We need y'all to stand tall, everybody now. Come on, all around the world, singing.